This video I'm going to show how I add a timer and adjust the video speed while maintaining the correct time using DaVinci Resolve 20. So the first thing that I'll do is go down and click on the edit tab and then from there I'll adjust the tracks a bit and then go up and click on effects. Now I'll go down to click and hold on text plus and then drag it into the video track above the first one. Then I'll zoom in a little bit and move the text over to where the video has a black background so I can read it. Now to change the text to the time format, I will right click in the text box and then go down and click on the time code option. And to modify the time code formatting you can either go down and click on the fusion tab or go up and click on this little fusion icon in the corner. Then after the fusion page loads you'll want to go up and click on the modifiers tab and here is where you can uncheck options you don't want to show which in my case is the frames. So now that I have the format how I want, I'll go down and click on the edit tab and then scrub the playhead to see how it looks. Now the next thing that I want to show is that if you resize the timer to the left, it will go into negative seconds so I will undo that and then resize it from the right side so the timer will start at zero. Next I will move the timer all the way to the left so it will start at the beginning and then I'll resize the timer all the way to the end of the video clip below it. And when I scrub the playhead you can see that the timer is pretty close to showing the same time as the video length below. Now I'll click on the timer and then go up to change the color by clicking on in the editor and then a window will pop up with different color options I can choose. It will also let me pick a color from the screen if I want to make the video look more uniform which is what I want to do so I'll select a blue from the start icon. Then I'll click OK and go over to change the font which has all the options installed on my system above the color selector. And after I have the color and font that I want for the timer, I'll go up and click on the layout tab where I can change a position by adjusting the center X and Y values. I want my timer in the bottom left corner so I'll press and hold the scroll wheel down on my mouse to move the view around until it's in the middle of the screen and then rotate the scroll wheel to zoom in. Now I want to adjust the size of the timer so I will do that by moving the slider to the left to shrink it and then I'll adjust the position again until it's close to where I want it. You can also just type in a value for the size to fine tune it, so I'll do that to make the timer just a little smaller. And after I'm happy with the size and position, I'll go up to the view zoom and select fit so it will show the full video again. You can also do this by simply pressing the Z key. Now that I'm happy with my timer settings and I have it the same length as my main video, I'm going to change the video speed to 200 which will cut the video length in half. And you can see that the timer doesn't adjust its length with the video since they are on separate tracks, so next I will undo the speed change so I can show you how to combine them both into one. With the main video selected, I will hold down the control key and click on the timer which will select both of the video tracks. Next I will right click on the selected tracks and then go up to click on new compound clip. Then I will name it timer and press the enter key to trigger the create button. And now that I have both of the clips combined into one, when I go up and double the speed it will adjust both the video and the timer. So if I go to the end of the compound clip, you can see that the video length is now 11 minutes and 15 seconds and the timer is showing twice that. And when I go to the beginning of the clip and press play, you can see the timer will run at twice the speed. So the timer will appear to run faster and faster as I increase the speed on the compound clip. And if I want to edit either the video or the timer separately, I just need to right click on the compound clip and go up to click on the open and timeline option. Then after it loads you can edit each track separately like you could before they were combined. So the last thing that I want to do here is stop the timer at a certain point so I can do that by resizing it back a little and then copy and pasting it past the first timer. Now with the second timer selected, I'll just right click in the text field and go down to click on remove time code 1. Then I can just resize the timer end text and it should appear to pause the timer where you want it to stop counting. Now to get back to the main timeline, I just need to go down to the bottom left corner and double click on timeline 1. Hopefully this video has helped and feel free to ask any questions that you still may have in the comments. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more quick and on point videos.